Hello, hello. So today we're playing with Lionfish for our next lore page. <clears throat> we'll see how this deck goes. Um, put in uh, Sky Captains and Trainings. Those will be our enablers for the Lionfish. Because if you don't know, you need at least one attack to death touch something. XCQ. I always get messed up by your name. <laughs> um, so we kind of want to like... I, I think we full scoop these two things just to try and get the Sky Captain early. But then we preserve one starting creature. Soul Drain's kind of nice, but... Yeah. We just hope for the Sky Captain early. Do I play this? I think I have to play this. Yeah, I have no, like, hand scoop anyway, so I might as well. Turn one collector. So this deck's very creature heavy. Such as Baron Sky Vermin. This actually works kind of nice with uh, all the damage removals like Flash Salmon and Soul Drain. Um, thank god we got a Manta Rider early. I was about to say we're going to be in a bit of a pickle if he's rushing us here with this start, but Manta Rider will help a lot. <clears throat> ah, it's Green Rush. Oh, easy. We can just defend with Iona now. <laughs> ah, Sky Captain. Do I even collect with this? I think I can. I think I go to block face. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter that much. I could also build the center land. Don't particularly want to do that though. Wait, what am I doing here? Uh, I have to play Manta Rider. I can't play Sky Captain. Um. Yeah, I think I just give up collection this turn. Hmm. So if I drop Manta Rider here, he just goes for the Lionfish then. We definitely step here. Okay, why don't we protect our Lionfish? That could be a plan. I think I take this. I don't know. So now he prob. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's a bit awkward for him. A good line would be to like go to left side, but he's gonna use double nitrous to get there, so it's not so good. So yeah, this makes it super awkward for him. Need to get this guy down as soon as possible before I draw into any more lionfish. Uh, as soon as we do, I probably just win. Lionfish is so efficient against green. Oh man, <laughs> maybe I should have decided where I want my fourth desert first. <clears throat> That's super awkward. <laughs> uh, but that was a really good RNG for him, but I think it's okay. Is there a point in blocking face anymore? I don't think I care. I could give up collection again. 
We take away one collection. Just drop Sky Captain. It's also a line. Um, we take away a free card that costs two less. Not that this is usually that great. Uh, he's got to build this land. It's okay. But then where do I put Sky Captain? He goes nowhere safe. Okay, maybe I do do this. <laughs> he probably pre-hits into it or kills it, but that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna drop... Um... I might want this land. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, so fill this land in in case he has like buff and then just drops like something massive. Um, yeah. Yeah, so now we're safe from anything coming down there. Another one. Alright, this is fine. We can just... Just body block. Eh, it's not that fine, actually. Our poor Sky Captain is going to be targetable. Alright. Well, we take a draw. Lionfish! Nice. Um... Well, I could dodge collection again. <laughs> Not that that's great, but... Lionfish is perfect answer here. Unless he runs commands, but... Yeah, I'm... Might just have to stay here. Not move up and collect. So the issue with collecting here is that it gives him a land to jump on and trade the Sky Captain. I think Sky Captain's gonna be my win condition for this match, so I need to protect it. Even though we've lost two collections already now, I think it's fine. He's invested a huge chunk of buffs here, so the Death Touch will be nice. Okay, I think that was the incorrect command target there, but uh, that makes my life a lot easier. He gets only one card, that's fine. But um, since he didn't use command on the lionfish, we get a free trade. Unless he has another one. Or a taunt. No, this guy's got taunt. Alright, no command. That's beautiful. <laughs> Now we get free trade. Nice. And probably just clean this up with a soul drain. Actually safe to collect here finally. Yeah, we can just leave the bloom bloom spread there to collect. Or full clear with the vermin. That also works step here, so we threaten the, uh, the structure. Feels kind of bad, though, to just drop a 1-3. Actually, okay, that plus one was a mistake here. I, I should have dropped Bloatfly, I think. Um, the 4-4 is better. It contests Sagami Warrior and such. So yeah, let's just drop this. I should have taken a draw just to find a different creature. I was thinking as I would play the Vulture here, but that's actually not a great Vulture. Uh, playing the 4-4 four four also plays around uh, like a single buff or something. Hey Skagzilla, how's it going? Oh, what? Why didn't she trade into this one? 
So it's going to give me a free value trade now. Oh wow, this is an even better trade now. Giving me so many answers. Um, it's probably worth taking the Vulture here. So we can training, get some free Feria. Maybe even put it up aggressive somewhere. Three attack, three attack. We could put uh, Bloat Fly up there. This guy can come to defend. Good, good. Awesome to hear. Finally caught a stream. Nice. <laughs> I've seen you playing a little bit on Discord and such. Well played, indeed. Oh, thanks! <laughs> The lionfish is an interesting one. That's, that's this is the lore page we're going for. Um, it's not a terrible card. Maybe like a, it's not exceptional. You have to like add something to it to make it do anything. But especially against green, it does all right. I was playing around earlier, um, so if anyone was on the other stream, who was it? We were watching Milk Bread, and um, I said that Swallow, if you sacrifice something with Swallow with Demon Wrangler, I said that um, uh, the Demon Wing overrides the Swallow, but that is not the case, I just tested it. If you sacrifice something with Swallow, like Balloonfish, it actually, uh, you don't get the Demon Wing. <laughs> Only works with last word stuff. Friend and you played like a, a year ago a ton, but fell off. You're definitely why we're back. Oh, that's great to hear. <laughs> yeah, there hasn't been many streamers in the past couple years. Um, so yeah, same as before. We're going to keep a starting creature, toss these, hope for um, Sky Captain. Nice. Yeah, there hasn't been very many streamers in the past couple years. But the community is still well and strong. I've been having a great time with it. Especially these lore pages. These lore pages actually give me so much content. Because <laughs> I get to play a different deck each day. A couple different decks. Um... He's probably going to chase me, unfortunately. Ah, Will. He likes to play green-red. So I think this deck will do okay against that. Double red, though. Um, so let's put a backup emissary here, another one to collect. Hey, Fickle! None of the streamers seem to appear under the Feria Twitch link. The streamers seem to appear under the Feria Twitch link. Oh, sad. Okay. Could have played around that. I was actually not expecting Firestorm. I was expecting green, red, but it looks like he's maybe red control. Hmm. Alright, let's put a bloat fly up here. Could use this to collect, but I think I need some like more fighting stuff. We don't have much fighting stuff in hand besides champion. 
Hey Solara, how's it going? Are you guys participating in the tournament coming up soon? I think next weekend? Two weekends from now? Okay. I think we take a draw because I want to soul drain this. There's an option to flash them. I guess I could drop champion. Um, drop champion and just flash Sam in this. It's the same thing. We take one extra damage, but that's okay. And then we get to produce the champion actually. Um, really want to move this sky captain over to left side now, but oh yeah, we can do that. We'll go here. We'll build this one to block like um, future bomb slinger slots and things. Champion here. And move you out of the way. Whoa! Oh, thanks for the sub, Skagzilla. The gifted sub. Sure, we can go there. <laughs> gifted sub to El Panico! Uh, El Panico thought he could hide. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the gift. I appreciate it. Okay, so we could do full clear here, which means we're not collecting, or we collect plus one Manta Rider. But uh, collect plus one Manta Rider doesn't really help us. I think we're just going to full clear and hope for the best. Uh... Doesn't feel great. Can also draw here, right? If that's my plan. Draw for another buff thing. <laughs> Alpanico has been there to block your rising to god rank today. Oh, have you been playing? Uh, I think this is okay. Like, our champion stays alive. He can only cipher his wrath and then he can't play anything. So I think we just do this. Um, probably here. Oh, sorry, we have to go here. <laughs> so is the question here then? Your rising was blocked too? <laughs> so there's safe. Oh, he has five. Uh, for some reason I thought he had, he'd only have two this turn. But he's got nothing to play. Awesome. Is this important? I think we just go for the well collection. Then we can drop another one next turn. Just slipping down to second rank. Ooh, made it to number two? Or you, or you mean this number two? Okay. Baldi. <clears throat> All right. This doesn't have divine, right? We can just champion this. Hey, thanks for the follow, Houndsker. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> yeah, I think we actually drop champion. Uh, or is it better to just do Manta Rider? Maybe Manta Rider is better, because he's got no creatures produced. If we do Champion, it might be a bit slower. I think we just go for Manta Rider. We just step both of them up. It's like we're all blocking each other. It's a giant match of rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, I do lose like a nice 6-4 body on Manta Rider this way. Mm. 
but he can't bomb slinger here. So I think it's okay. If he bomb slingers here, that's fine. Nothing. Hmm. So yeah, a bit unfortunate that we can't uh, clear this that nicely. Wait, he's on 5 mountain. I wonder if he's doing like plus 1 things. Alright, um... Champion's nice to produce here, we get to collect off of it. So move over, move over, hit, hit. And there's two two twos on the board, bit awkward. But champion should be able to clean up every anything else. Um Can I spread my creatures at all? Yeah, let's just go for this. This plays into Bomb Slinger, but I think it's okay. Uh, so I might have Copter. This is like the best play around I can think of for Copter, so he doesn't get into double collection or anything. Okay, he's still plus one-ing. I think this is a plus one thing. <laughs> Ooh. Or is he going for Meteor? So what does this mean? He obviously doesn't have anything to play here. There's some really good answers for this. So it's probably plus one things or meteor. Uh, so we could build like an aggressive desert. We've got the training now for lionfish. I don't want to play into copter again, so we might just kind of step out of range of things. Like do this, not attack. Oh wait, we could just drop him here and attack. Uh, and then probably pass from here. Maybe Bloatfly is okay. What, what can he do? Garadin? Doesn't hurt this. Um, Hellfire that soaks up. It's playing out of Meteor range, kind of. He gets to blow up three deserts. I think this is okay to drop. Meteor is really bad for him here now anyways. And you're unlocking new emotes? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I only have one emote at the moment. <laughs> Open to suggestions for another one, but... Um, I think the next emote slot is at like 15 sub points or something. That's oh, Grand Shaker. Double Grand Shaker. Alright, that's not too bad. Got a nice cleanup for that. Um, might as well take this trade so we can step out of Bomb Slinger range now. Uh, now that we've got collections kind of built up here. Oh wait, what is... is this champion doing anything for me? Can collect... Because Flame Burst is a really easy cleanup here, but I... I guess we just go for it anyways. Because otherwise we don't have an answer. Uh, we can just move the, the bloat fly up one. <laughs> 
They did let me bring some other emotes, like a red moon. <laughs> Kaleem? Alright, Kaleem's kinda neat. Do you think he runs Gift of Steel? Um, Gift puts this to 5. It doesn't even kill it anyways. I think we could put it in range. Or we play it safe, put it back. Um, we are out of movement tricks. We got like one champion left. Not many movement tricks. I think putting it here is fine. If he invests... Hmm. There's no way he runs Gift, right? He's doing like plus one things. I think we can put it up in his face. Embrace the wild wind. <clears throat> yeah. Just plus one-ing. Sad. Flash salmon. So we just take out the uh, brigand. It's an option to pre training. That's a little sketchy. Um, we've got four damage here. Could also flash salmon soul drain this. Um, we lose a collection. So he goes up to three. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he goes up to three. An next turn he's on six, so we can easily bomb slinger things. It might be worth to kill everything, but uh... we could also just hit face. <laughs> God rank number one emote. Make that as an emote. Uh, wait. Okay. Uh, is it worth giving him that collection? How expensive is this? No, this has divine. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. I think this is fine. If he has Bomb Slinger, that sucks, but uh, he's losing collections, so I think it's okay. Ooh. Nine damage Wrath? Yeah. Okay, I think we lost now. Lionfish. Yeah, I have no ways to get into his face. More wraths are coming. Just, uh... Do this soul drain. Hey, Kiro Kiro, can maybe sketch up a chibi if you're interested? Ooh, that would be exciting. <laughs> a chibi. I would appreciate that a lot if you have the time or care. <laughs> that would be awesome, though. Do you do, like, um... Um, like, digital art a lot? It's so difficult. I tried a little bit, like, I, I kind of liked uh, drawing a little bit in the past, and I tried out, um, I tried out, um, like, digital art. It is just such a different thing. <laughs> Let's take a draw. I don't have very much confidence in this game. Send you a design later over Discord? That would be awesome if you could. I would appreciate that a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Only if you have the time, though. It's no rush, of course.
God, this is getting sketchy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> should I put this face? Maybe I should use the Flash Salmon to attack? Get an extra draw? He's about to... Potentially Meteor. Um, let's go for this. Just for the card draw. I think it'll be okay. We are running low on cards, but uh, this is our last shot to kind of... Oh, what? Oh, sorry, yeah. We'll block the mountain space. <sighs> I guess we can play this. What can he do? So he runs Firestorm. Yeah, this is going to be out of Firestorm range. This dies. I'm kind of thinking Meteor. Still no Meteor? Oh, it's Ignis. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> GG, I guess. I think that's probably a lethal, right? Okay, not quite. But, like... Yeah. <laughs> Ice! Alright, we got our lionfish. The Ignis archetype doing surprisingly well these days. Normally docile and content to float about in search of food, these creatures can become deadly when threatened as their spines slowly fill up with venom toxic enough to bring down a sky well. Very slowly. <laughs> yaks on the moon emote, like you can see the silhouette of three little yaks wandering on the moon. Or like that, um, so my name is like mildly based off of Lion King, right? So you know that scene where they're like, is it even, is there a moon scene where they're like walking across that, uh, that tree plank, like three of them? <laughs> That would be cool, make them yak. But yak silhouettes must be kind of difficult to make out, right? Like, are yaks, do they really have that many prominent features? Like, I guess they've got like horns and just furry bodies. Yeah, could work. Must have been what killed the rest of the Skywells. <laughs> that's what, <laughs> yeah, that's what killed Skywell in the first place. Um, how much? Okay, there's like an hour left till the next lore page, so... Uh, I only played this like a couple times, we can do this a little bit more. I want to try out Husk, like the mono yellow Husk version, and see if I can make anything work with that. Like, I, I figure that you just put in champions because you're already at uh, 4 land with Husk. So champions kind of make sense, just because they're so good. Um, can even, like, it's pretty much just like a flyer's list at that point, but... Eh. Yaks or balls of fur? It's <laughs> a good question. Yeah, what are... Yeah, I guess they're just they're just pretty much horns and balls of fur. That's what they are. <laughs> so could probably find a silhouette like that. It's a little bit awkward from like a side angle though. Maybe. Maybe. I just love how yaks are the mascot of Faria. <laughs> so such a 
a unique animal you don't see it many places. It's good to see. Did you guys hear that uh, Abraham is thinking of making another new game? A little bit worried about that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be giving much love to Faria. Received the email questionnaire? Yeah. Um, I kind of feel like we scoop all of this, even though these are starting creatures. Might regret that. Hey! <laughs> Risk paid off. Another game already? Yeah, they sent out an email, ask, like a questionnaire asking what game we would all think we would like. Some questions about like game genres and stuff. And yeah, they want to delve into another new game. Hey look, a yak! Um, so this is going to be burn heavy. Do we rush? This deck's a bit slower. I think we can... Let's, let's build here, just in case. So this gives me the option to move to double collection faster, and then we can decide if we want to rush. If he plays too many burn cards, or we can just go opposite side. I kind of want to play both Sky Captains though, right? I checked no to most questions. <laughs> yeah, I tried to do like all the most Faria related things, but it sounds like they kind of want to move on to another project already. I... Which is a little sad, <laughs> but you know. Um. Yeah, I want to develop this other Sky Captain. I think we can just build this land. <laughs> Seeing that I'm dropping the other Sky Captain anyways, can just put him here. Or here. Because I definitely don't want this guy running into the left side. And it looks like he's going to fight me here, so we might just be like single side flyers today. Oh, Hellfire. Hey look! A Hellfire that didn't get perfect pings. What a rare occurrence. <laughs> uh, let's take a draw while well, we still have both of these. Oh my god. Another one? <laughs> Do I greed for the other one? I guess so. Why not? <laughs> This will be like our one and only opportunity to get this going. Um, I think we can put this in range. It's actually a pretty decent fighter right now at, at 4 6. Hey, Lizard! You'd be happy to hear they are working on a new title. It's. Like, I want them to succeed. I'd just be very sad that Faria is not getting much. At the end, I say they need to add more docs to Faria and invest heavily on YouTube ads. Trust them to make something good, but I was really hoping... Yeah, exactly. I... I... They... Like, Roguebook, they proved that they can make a pretty good game, but... I, I'm just sad that uh, Fairy is not getting love. <laughs> oh, more DLCs, yeah. More DLCs would be nice. Hey, S! How's it going? We're talking about the um, future plans for Abracam. They just released an email uh, uh, saying that they are thinking of making a new game. So that's a thing. Um, okay, we've got a pretty good setup over here, right? We can go Iona plus Manta Rider. 
Actually get a collector over here. New game, Keck. I would be excited to see what they come up with. Like, if they're completely- if their hearts are completely set on not doing Feria anymore, I'm sad, but also it would be nice- interesting to see what they- what they come up with. And I said if- if Rogue Book will do well that they have more Feria DLCs, I guess that was a lie. <laughs> Training. Oh, I didn't even notice that line. True. Yeah, I could have taken that that guy out. Right. All right. Well, we can do that this turn. It's a little weaker than the line was before. Um, plus double drain. So we go down to collect. Uh, so four, five, might as well draw then. Bloat fly. I think I actually save the soul drains. We can develop bloat fly here. We don't really need the, uh, the buffs anymore. Just drop bloat fly. Pretty threatening creature. Um... And then we've got the soul drains to deal with anything that comes down. E3, B4 was better line. A, B, C, D, E. E3 to B4. Like, like that last turn when I had the Sky Captain in range, that was the better line. But... Uh, there was no other option that turn. Debating lines when you won? Yeah, well. <laughs> mm. Feria shall prevail? It's really impressive how long Faria survived just on the player base alone. I hope we get something. I don't know. I'd be really satisfied with like one DLC to like sustain us for the next three years. <laughs> Keeping the servers alive is really cheap. They haven't done anything to improve it, so no money spent. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. And like there's still there's still a player base, so it's obviously worth the money to keep that going. Started Ferry in 2005. Was it that long ago? Oh my god. They'll probably not discard it so soon. Yeah, I think like they really like it, but maybe it's just like financial issues kind of getting in the way of things. And like the new company that they're under. I think they're missing out by not making your account go across, across devices. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to change that any, like, ever probably, because they've kind of, it's just the way that they've built it, but it would have been a nice thought if they had done it that way. Um, yeah. Okay, so Will is this plus one Ignis thing. I think we're just building our lands up one side. Oh, we can actually explore first.
Yeah, even small changes have been really nice, right? Um... Ah oh, man, I should have built this one, I think. I, I just realized. I have training here, we can just... Okay. This land seems okay then. So we'd be a bit more aggressive. If he drops like something really small, can training into Manta Rider at his face? Or if it goes here, we can just... Okay, that's not small. Man! <laughs> That's not small. Lionfish is nice. Um, just kind of means I need to go to the opposite side now, though. If I want to do it this way. A little bit expensive to invest five fairy and just a collector. I guess it's fine, but at this point, it's worth to keep the player base as consumers for the next game. Ah, that's very true. Yeah, that's very true. Play around Firestorm. Yeah, I don't think I could play around Firestorm there. I mean. If I only play one creature that's playing around it, I suppose, but... Uh... Maybe I should have just dropped, like, Manta Rider or something. It's a, kind of a healthier cleanup. I could... Okay, we probably want to draw. Um, I don't even need to answer this right now. We can just drop another Manta Rider. Well, not that I want to. Uh, okay, maybe I draw. Or build towards champion. We'll go here. Just go to collect. We didn't see Horse Master last time, so I think we're all right there. Okay, that's not okay. Let's explode together. Hey, PC! A red balloon. Hey, and also... Gui NMD. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Ooh. That's a neat little card. Uh, okay, so we're gonna training this. Puts it in range, unfortunately, but that's okay, I guess. Um, so we got this, this, that's four. So we could plus one, or Manta Rider go somewhere. <laughs> guess we'll just draw. Lionfish. Um, don't want to play into Firestorm too hard, so I think Manta Rider can go on right. Oh god, that plays really hard into Firestorm. I just realized. Maybe I should have built a land, because now we're playing super hard into Firestorm. I can just put Lionfish as a collector. Um, spook him that we actually have an answer. Or is this bad? If he drops a creature, this line sucks. I think I should have just not played anything. That's such a good Firestorm, yeah. Uh, Wheel Hermie. 
Welcome to the stream. Um, can start drawing. Yeah, that was a super hard play into Firestorm. Copter now. <laughs> Character from some game, I'm guessing. Alright, this sucks. Uh... I think we lose this, to be honest. It's just gonna go the same way as the last game did. So we go just back here. Um, so we can't collect. Fantastic. Load fly is nice. So if we play this, we don't get to play champion next turn. Um, what, he goes up to four, five? That's a lot of Faria. I don't think he runs taunts or anything. I think we can just go here. Well, wait, we need one collection. No, we can't play a champion no matter what. I think it's okay. Just to get another creature, another body on board, and we gotta wait a couple turns for champion, but that's okay. we're winning this. It's pronounced Geely me or G wait 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 Geeler me. <laughs> it's Brazilian I guess. I am butchering that name so hard. <laughs> Geeler me? Okay, let's play something else. Um, especially with that burn list going around. So I wanted to check out Husk. I built this briefly a while back. I think it'll be alright with like champion things. Um, pretty much how Husk always was, but then just adding in champions. Aerily is an option. But... I think it'll just work the same as like yellow flyers kind of, but with like husk package. Um, and using Blightborn Spectre, Mistral Guide to kind of give this a little boost. Um, yeah, let's try it out. Got the one of Nightmare just in case. I don't know if we need this on the current ladder though. Um, Maybe drop this down to Choking Sand? Because uh, last time I was playing there was a lot of Disciples running around. Today it's like a lot of burn. You've been having such a blast playing Blue Jump lately and being a scorn for the, cur the casuals. <laughs> Blue Jump is super fun. Really nice to ladder with as well. I really like how, no matter how the meta changes, blue jump always stays the same, yellow flyers always stays the same, relatively. Like, they always have a top place in the meta. Sunlight! Why do people not play Wraith in these lists? Hey, Saluji! Wraith is just... A little bit awkward. It's an okay card, but it's uh, like three lands makes it awkward. Um, not having mobility makes it a bit awkward. Like there's just usually better cards to play. It's an okay card, but yeah, just usually better cards to play. 
Green Beast Master, Keck. Yeah, I like Green Beast Master. <laughs> How about Turbo Goth with Husk? Is this still playable? I think it's playable, but it's a lot worse because you need. Well, I don't even know if it's playable, to be honest. Um, wait, I think. Um, I'm gonna build this, make him invest side. Because we've got this kind of like soul packed storyteller combo, we don't give him cards early. We get to choose where to go. Oh, he's not even burned, that's good. Find Wraith to be the best card in the deck after Husk. Yeah, like th the 3-6 stat line is reasonable. Should I put it here in case we get the 3-6? Or merchant or something. Yeah, I think we can drop you here. I haven't played this since the nerf, so I just wanted to check it out. Um, I liked it back in the day. <laughs> when I first discovered Husk. Uh, the unfortunate thing, this thing needs like double neutrals, right? Oh my god. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Hmm. Well, we don't need the extra fairy because of all the soul pact and stuff, so I guess we just desert. So the, yeah, like the husk nerf makes it super awkward. Um, we could try the wraith today as well, actually. This would be a cool day for husk experimentation. I guess we just go for this. I really don't need the fairy. The pressure is kind of nice, but. Yeah, and Wraith can do alright with, um, uh, Mistral Guide. Do I run Training in this? No. You'd probably want to run Training. Uh, along with the Wiss, uh, the, the Wraith. So you could do, like, no champions, and then... Hmm. Yeah, this is actually kind of interesting with Spectre, because you need double neutrals, right? But I want to go up to five lions. Wraith with, with training would help. War machine. Hey! What'd you do that for? Root. <laughs> Alright, well, we can drop double husk here. So definitely soul pack comes down. Uh, got a nice spot here. The triple. <laughs> so, if he has like another shifting tide, he might be able to drop under threshold. These things are especially good with the lack of hard removal in the meta right now. I think, like, the meta's kind of shifting a little bit. Like, with all these disciples running around, people might start to add in, like, Last Nightmares and Frogifies again. Ew. Alright, so we'll build our fifth land. Just drop this and pass. Um, it could, wait, he's on one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so he's on six cards with quite a bit of Faria. He needs to dump three of those, though. Uh, so I think we're all right. We don't need to play Merchant. Wait, did I get damage there again? Ogre. Mm, I have to build another land. 
unfortunately. But I think that's alright. We got this Flash Wind. So better land is probably this for like future wind soldier thing. We'll just do this one. Uh oh, we also need we can drop like a third husk somewhere somewhere safe. Maybe we just put the third husk up here. That also makes sense. Again, there's not a huge point to Merchant. Um, like, we just give him extra card. Uh, maybe we just go for it. We could drop something on the neutral. Unlikely we actually give him anything useful. Yeah, like we get ch uh, this or something. Um, yeah, nothing useful for us, but that's okay. We just pass then. The old version of Husk used to play more for tempo with Demon and Trainings. Yeah, it's certainly a lot better now that Husk is slower. Yeah, or the, the deck is worse, yeah. So you can't, yeah, you can't play as tempo for sure. And also Husk, like this is your card that you want to get out as soon as possible because it's your draw tool. And like, you're just like... It builds up over time. Um, but now it just comes down that one turn slower. At least we didn't get the um, Forbidden Library treatment. <laughs> so I think we can finish this with a Salamander. Oh, crap. Uh, there's definitely a lethal in here, though. Oh, sorry, we're at five. Yeah, we win. <laughs> just play control, and your whole win condition is just getting Wraith off. We can try a little bit of Wraith. We'll play this one or two more times and then switch over to Wraith. So what would I drop for Wraith? Like I definitely want to put in um, Training if I'm putting Wraith in. Training doesn't make a lot of sense with Spectre, it's already got uh, Charge 2. Uh, could drop Mistral Guide, it's not really that necessary. Although, then you're dropping your creatures a lot. Um, like, I put Mistral Guide in there just for like a creature bulk. Instead, we're not running um, a Demon anymore. But Wraith plus Training. We'll substitute Spectre. I wonder if you even could leave Spectre in. Or is that too much? Yeah, I don't want too much deck weight, I guess. Um, so we do Wraith. Actually, Mistral Guide's kind of needed for Wraith, though, right? You really want to get that Crab Trigger off somehow. So we ditch Spectre. Maybe you just ditch Champion. Even though Champion's amazing. You do want to kind of keep your deck white thin. You don't play Mistral? Mistral seems really good. I guess I guess if you don't run Mistral, you can just go up to like trainings plus more flash wins. Three flash wins essentially though. Yeah, I could see that. Just run three flash win, three training instead of instead of uh Mistral. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
Oh, right, you're also... because you're putting, um... Because you're putting that guy in. Maybe you maybe you do go back to demons. Cause if you're putting wraiths in, you're you're ditching Spectre. You don't have those like good starting creatures anymore. Well played. <laughs> um So what? Do we do the same play where we hold Storyteller? I think so. We wanna go opposite direction. And we want the central land for uh, Spectre. Okay, so this time I'm actually going to play us on the desert instead of neutral. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Because this, yeah, because this way, like, if he double neutrals and it goes here, we can retreat and hopefully drop something in its place. Or we're also contesting this space, so he doesn't want to step up anyways. You don't play training? Really? Kaleeb's training equals favorite card? I think I feel like training's pretty necessary for running Wraith. Like, just flash wins alone is going to be kind of tough. But I th I think we can just, like, shimmy around things. Maybe, maybe, yeah, like, drop the champions. That seems like the only drop. Um... Should I try and fight this side? No, we don't have to do that. Just do this. Because we do have the Soul Drain uh, follow up. That's how you get flying Sapphire EX. So we didn't see Bomb Slinger last time. Um. Probably okay to not play around. He's just kind of got some like bulky stuff. Maybe there's Bomb Slinger. There could be Bomb Slinger. But we get to drop double husk again this turn. So maybe it doesn't matter too much. Flash Wid. We already had one. Um, is it worth hitting into that? Okay, so we drop double husk again. Probably use this to back up collect. Yeah, we're running out of land, so I think we actually have to go up. Um, we can always flash win this guy so that we're out of range. That kind of works as well. Because um, we're not going to have any other creatures on board, right? I think this is okay. Investing the two Faria there. We drop double husk. Draw into double champion. Most commonly, you control the board because you have lots of good removal, so movement tricks aren't too essential. Comes down to playstyle. Well, also, yeah, it depends on who you're facing on ladder as well. Um, I kind of want to make this like as competitive as possible if I can, because that's. Yeah, just trying to make up for that. Oh my god, that's so expensive. Mistral. Mistral guide's kind of awkward with the rest of the creatures. Like, it's not really necessary. It's only actually good with Spectre, that's about it. <laughs> and maybe jumping some collectors over. Do I actually draw here? Oh no, I need the land. Um... But 
but where? I kind of don't want to invest in this side. I'm just going to put Champion somewhere. Well, Champion can also go on this side. In the future, I mean. Maybe we just drop Mistral Guide. Since we've got a cleanup for this guy. Triple champion. Yikes. <laughs> Alright, so we're dropping Spectres and dropping Champions, I guess. That last Nightmare can convert to a Flash Wind. Seems like it could be alright. And then you're only at a 4 land count. A lot more tempo. Oh, I don't have enough room for a demon though. Um, can go to like. I actually need to draw here. <laughs> Spectre. So we'll give you flying. Maybe I could fit it. Maybe I could sneak in like two air elementals somewhere, just to make up for all the super clunky lands. Um, but we're ditching champion. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, this is the issue with wraith. Is like it's so awkward to make work. Uh, so Wind Soldier puts them down to 3, then he goes up to 4. Um, so we could just do that, get some collections. Uh, we also have Champion, we can move this. We can clear with Mistral Guide. So we can probably find a full clear somewhere. I will bury you. Crap. I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot against the buffs. Uh, I mean the attack buff. Well, I think that's okay, okay still. So we go champion. Champion Flashwind, I guess. We can plus one merchant. See if there's anything better. Or we just leave this alone and just drop another Spectre. Okay, we do this for sure then. Good. Uh, I should step this up too. You don't have to corrupt to get value out of it. Um, I guess that's true also. Training just seems still necessary though. But maybe you only need like two trainings. Maybe only two husks also, actually. Don't need three husks. Especially if we're going to down to uh, four lands.
Okay. Ähm. I kind of like just stepping back, blocking with the husk for now. We're not really pressured to do anything. Or block with uh, Ancient Boral, so that works. We need one more stat on this guy. Can take one step. Probably don't want to drop a third husk here. Good night, poetry. Alright, I'll, I'll remember at the end. Oh, we're gonna mill. Oh well. Three husk and only two storyteller? Yeah, I could probably drop something. You could do the storyteller. In the end, you just skew some of your matchup tables by running yellow control husk. You'll have an easier time versus red, but your matchup versus flyers comes worse. Mm. Yeah, I, I think two husks would be alright. All these yellow deck cool boys are too cool for skew. -wool. I love this card though. This, like, when I first came back and started uh, playing in tournaments, I was running Husk with Spectres. Really liked that list. Who told you Spectre was OP? <laughs> I don't know, I just. It fit the archetype at the time people were playing Husk. Can we find lethal here? Potentially. So we need... 5... just wind soldier plus this guy hitting? I think we can find it. We've got flash wind... I've got uh, only two movement tricks here, right? Uh, oh, we got soul drain. Easy. No, you wanted to put it in B? In B? <laughs> the Spectre? Did I put this in B? I, I think I might have. It's not like that OP. Like, you don't see it being run in tournaments. It's not like uh, it makes the deck really strong or anything. Um, Alright, so let's try out the race. I'm really liking the Spectres, but we'll see what the race can do. My only concern with this is that we ditch all of our starting creatures. Not all, but... Um, now we've only got a Storyteller and Merchant to start with. Okay, so I want to drop one Husk. We're going to swap out for three Flashwind. That really does not give me a lot of space. <laughs> We wanted to ditch Mistral Guide. Okay, that works. So maybe we go for three demons, play it a bit more tempo, and then like try and fit into training somewhere. Um can probably like drop a storyteller. So now we've got uh eight starting creatures only, but Oh wait, we're running champion still? Wait, did I want to run champion? I think this is the one that we drop. Uh, go back. So either two champions, or we could go for two uh, Mistral Guides. You have it. 
Oh, your delay is almost an entire minute? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yikes. Um... Is champion important? Like, it gives more mobility tricks. Um, so if we don't run champion, we could bump back up to three husk. Um, even three trainings. Or put in some sort of hard removal. Um, what have we seen so far? It's just been red. Red things, there's that red blue thing. I don't know, nothing's been that really threatening so far. Besides like mono red, I guess, but uh I can try this. But if we're doing uh I don't know, if we're doing like tempo things, we kinda want more more husks, more removal. Okay, let's 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 ditch these. Um three husk and then some piece of hard removal. Either nightmare or choking. I think that's alright. So now it's a bit more uh, tempo oriented. Four lands is still a bit much for all these tempo things, but uh, we'll try with that. I think this could work pretty well, actually. <laughs> Just F5 every 10 seconds? To rewatch the 30 second pre-roll ad. Oh boy. Hey, cheese. I learned recently you can stop those pre-rolls by doing, like, ad breaks. Maybe I should do ad breaks more often when I, like, go to the bathroom and stuff. <laughs> Ditching Soul Drain because I don't think it's very useful against a Will's list. Ad break every 30 seconds, which rolls three 30 seconds ads. <laughs> oh, look at that top deck. You're running no payoff? What do you mean, no payoff? Like, no big boy? Um... This is our payoff card, what do you mean? Look, we just- we just roll into Firestorm. <laughs> you mean like Colossus and such? Is it- is Colossus needed? You just have merchant things. Firestorm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have held that merchant. some amount of big boy perhaps what if we run the uh, um, the other wraith guy as well <laughs> oh this works
kind of. Wait, uh, we need to Firestorm Double Wind Soldier to kill these, right? That's so expensive. Um, can make up two Faria, so 11, 9. Kinda hurts a little bit, but it takes away his double collection. Oh crap! I was supposed to win Soldier first. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Oh no, wait, I can still do it if I build the land first. Okay. <laughs> um, almost messed that up. <laughs> so, should I be building like an actual desert just in case Merchant hits something? I guess uh, we don't play around that. Um... We need another husk spot in the future, so I could like pre-build a husk spot somewhere else. Hmm. Don't really find you need big creatures when you've played. It's just the tempo things, I don't know. Gagana? You mean the- oh, you mean the treasure seeker? I guess treasure seeker could do alright. This guy's a little annoying. A little annoying. Um... Oh man, I could have also blocked with Husk plus Teller. I don't think that's very worth it though. Gonna eat up this land spot. is a scary treasure. <laughs> this is kind of tough. Um, really, I just want to Trot more creatures somewhere, but I don't want to leave this guy alive. But if I try to clear this stuff, I am not winning. What if I just set up Merchant Hope for Firestorm? Like, we've already lost, right? Or hope for something. I know we're we're gonna let him hit us for two in the face, but I really don't have an efficient answer for that. Um, Kodama? <laughs> I don't know. That was probably an incorrect pick, but it really doesn't matter at this point. I think my hope here is he goes all in face, we drop Kodama, and heal ourselves. <laughs> the current heart house market. <laughs> oh yes, indeed. <laughs> Right.
root. All right. Hmm. Will's deck crushing us today. Wonder if we should run Choking Sand instead of Nightmare. It's just cheaper. Uh, we also I also just played that kind of poorly. <laughs> Playing into Firestorm. So do we need uh? Do we need something? Gagana. I guess we don't even need Nightmare. We can like swap in Gagana or something. Perhaps. There's, there hasn't really been big creatures on, on ladder anyways. Um, and... Yeah. Should do all right. The stack used to run. I used to run Colossus in this sort of list. Wait, what if I replaced with Colossus now, then? Ooh! Yes! Thanks for the sub! In with the sub! Maybe I should do a sub goal this month for the next emote, I just realized. <laughs> Thanks a lot, though, S. Yes. Glad you're enjoying your stay. Not having heart attacks yet at my mess plays. <laughs> Either scrap the demon training and play for control, or scrap the husk package play for tempo. I guess husk package isn't very tempo, right? Fair enough, on four lands. I want to go for more control. Um, What if we just go back to uh, Spectre? Just run Spectre and Wraith in the same list? It could work. I mean, I think you're right. We're kind of going down two different game plans here. Tempo and control, because Husk is a bit out of reach now. And it's not too much more expensive, I guess. We could probably drop Gagana again if that's, if that's going to be our plan. Like, drop demons for the 3-6 um, the three, the three charge? I could do all right. And then it's pretty much like the same as the that previous list, but we're running these instead of Colossus. Um, wait, we want Explore first, right? I don't think Center Desert helps us. Mech. Kek. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, we go opposite side of lands, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> I am hearing all these cool, fancy noises now. Thanks for the gift! S! In with the gift! Thank you, S. <laughs> Sipin for Moon? You really want to get that hot, hot tub stream, huh? Okay, we'll kill this. <laughs> I think subs are cheaper this month, right? For like, September. 
kind of curious how much we have to the next emote. Kuro Kuro came in here and was offering to uh, um, design like a chibi emote, which I think is awesome. <laughs> Um, I guess we honestly go for Wraith instead of Demon. Hot tub stream when? Is that still a thing though? I feel like that's got to be dying down at, at this point. I'm gonna become morally bankrupt. There are so many favors you could ask of me now. Morally bankrupt? <laughs> Husk. I only have three cards. Huzzah! You know what I want. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've, I still have three flash win, two trainings. We should be able to just stay here. Maybe? Wait, or I just like throw a demon into his face or something? I can play both, right? We can do this. <laughs> demon plus Wraith on other side or something? Bit weird playing into lands, but I think that's okay. And we set up this guy as a collector. Just getting under husk threshold and such. Just Wind Soldier Copter. It's also an option. Oh, I could have done that this turn because I had a collection spot. Interesting. Actually, you're right. <laughs> yeah, he's on zero. I I, I completely didn't see I had the not enough Faria for that. Then you step up, you got the corrupt spot. That would have been a pretty thick line. Not like this. <laughs> I hope you all came for misplays. So that's what you're getting. Just win, take the Saluji line. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lizard, I think you're still a minute behind on delay. <laughs> Moon is blinded by all the subs, he's flustered. <laughs> Creation. My. Sadly, I don't think we're going to have enough Faria this turn to do it. Oh! Oh! Okay, that works. This one? Well, it, it moderately works. Like, he's on zero here again. Might be able to block, but... Wait, what was the changes I was gonna make? Oh yeah, we're dropping demons. Oh, and the storyteller. Um, put you back here. Maybe out of detonate range or whatever he's doing. Unstoppable. Yeah, let's just ignore all those matches against Will. <laughs> We're unstoppable. <laughs> Alright, I'm kind of curious trying both Wraith and the, uh, the other guy. Is 
this might be a bit too expensive. <clears throat> uh, and no Colossus. Do we still run Gagana then? I guess so, like what else am I running? Choking sand. Summer! What's up party now? Samar. <laughs> We're playing husk things, which are actually morally okay now because of balance patch. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be too expensive. I mean, it's the same cost as if you're running Colossus, right? You play 3 Wraith, 3 Spectre. I think it's a... oh, 2 Spectre. But like... I don't know what else I need. <laughs> um, like, the only thing I'd, I'd ever want to include, I guess, is like hard removal stuff. Or barter, even. Barter's okay. <gasps> we got a quest. Nekomata? I don't think so. Blood Song. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I still want to play with Husk a little bit longer, but what can we do with uh, Blood Song in the future? Red Rush? Um. I know ASDG was running Bloodsong in something like his Path to Face deck or something. Doesn't feel that good in that deck though. I think you just, I don't know, run this in Red Rush? Like Red Rush with boss and things because you can discount the, the big juicy stats. I mean, uh, costs. Perhaps. But yeah, I don't know what else I'd run in, in yellow. Um, Alright, we're against Will again. That's the test. We'll play this a little bit smarter. <laughs> Or, I should say, I will play this a little bit smarter. Um, can ditch this. <clears throat> Whoa, da, da. Summer! Thanks for the sub! <laughs> you guys are all super kind today. You must just feel bad for me, because I miss playing so much. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the sub, though. Wait, he started side? He's always been starting center for some reason. The old tempo version of Husk was actually so refined and made you Craig Hesum. <laughs> two Spectre, two Demon, two Teller just worked. Isn't that like extremely light on starting creatures? Like, I, I think I ran... Ooh. Look at this boy. So he's got a Kodama to watch out for. Um, I used to run... I don't even remember now, actually. I think I ran three Spectre. Oh, oh right, you also have Merchant in there. Um, I have an option to step up, put Aggressive Merchant, uh, and then what happens? We get Firestormed again. Uh, we do need to build the lands though. I don't think I need to play the Merchant, but we can, we can just uh, put a land somewhere, maybe here. He still had three times merchants, right. 
two Spectre, two Demon, two Teller, yeah. But I guess, like, Demon is a bit less impactful now because of the lack of tempo stuff. It's Ignis. Yikes. Oh, <laughs> come on. Um... Okay, so we'll probably start with Merchant. Just need an answer for this. He steps up into Collection, we have an answer. Um... Dustbringer race a lot sturdier, so we could just do that instead of Merchant. Or we do... Merchant this side, Wraith this side. <clears throat> okay, Glide Hopper is kind of interesting. We could drop, we could drop Glide Hopper instead. Um, it's a little weaker, but we at least threaten this. Yeah, I kind of miss Colossus as well. <laughs> so, Gagan is not absolutely necessary. We don't need to run that. Um, we could... God damn it. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> we at least got something to survive. But he's not stepping into range. I guess I could have predicted that. Okay, well now we have Spectre. So we just drop Spectre, it's nice and sturdy, it'll gain, it'll gain some stats. Uh, really need to contest this soon, so maybe we invest our fourth land. Oh. it's a bit awkward. Need a fourth land over here too. Um, what if I double neutraled? Is that... Stupid. <laughs> Need a desert to get closer and clear it soon? Yeah. Like, there's no point in putting Spectre here. Uh, I mean, double newt. What if I just double neutral then? I know, like, it's super telling that I have Wind Soldier, but, like, he can't- he can't play around it anyways. Alright, um, we have Husk now, so we build our fourth land here. At least we get some healing, but we're going to lose to Wrath soon. Yikes. That thing. Hmm. Can we drop both of these? Not quite, right? Uh, 
I think it's fine just dropping the one. He, he's not collecting with this guy, right? So we just go here. <clears throat> Maybe he knocks out the husk or something, but then this boosts to six. So we just play this plus one. Or we threaten him? No, we need to deal with this guy. Uh... Cause like, we do have an answer to this, right? With this. He just steps here though. Mm. I really want to put him here. <laughs> Do I have an answer if I put him here? Like, he steps here, then I just block with another Wraith. If he kills this, then we can kill... I think I, I think this is okay. It's a little bit risky, but I think we have an answer, right? You like the aggro spot? I think we're okay with it. Like, I should be able to find a, a clear on this. No matter where he goes. Brigand sucks. <laughs> Flash when the specter is an answer. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, so we need the lens for that. We've also got this. I don't think there's an answer to this guy. We just... Have to double neutral kill this. You can collect G2 here. I can? Wait. I can? How? Move up. I don't think so. This is the only line I see. I'm gonna run out of time too, so... Uh... Maybe there's a better line that I'm not seeing. Okay. Um, there's an option to Gagana here just because he's nice and big, but probably not worth it. Just put you here to contest. So I, I need an answer to the Brigand is why I'm putting him here. Yeah, I was a little bit afraid of that, but I mean, at least I still have an answer. Unless he has flame burst. Oh, you're behind. <laughs> okay. Husk. kind of have to play the bird ship here. Like, I do have a cleanup on Ground Shaker, but it's not really worth it. Um, we'll just go back to collect. Drop husk and bird ship, I guess. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Um, Probably gonna put him in a nice safe spot here, where he can contest things. <laughs> Was there a better line to this though? We had cleanup, I don't know. Leaving him alive is a big no-no, that is also a big no-no. But I don't know what else I can do, I don't have a lot of pressure in my hand. Ground Shaker sucks. Did he top deck it? Because his... Oh. Wrath for five. Come on! <laughs> so lucky. 
I guess that was a, a reasonable, a reasonable thing actually. Okay. Um. Time to get bomb slingered. So I could put Storyteller somewhere. He does run Copter as well, right? Um, or just Merchant to block? I guess that's also... A <laughs> it's not the best because then he just bomb slingers and now I have no board. But we also have Soul Pact. Um, so we might just Storyteller as well then. Okay, oh. If I get Wind Soldier from this, I'm better, right? Oh, I can't Wind Soldier. Okay, wait, I'm running out of time. I do get a treasure here, but... Running out of time. <laughs> Alright. I'm really surprised I drew into my third and only treasure map, but... Just Merchant G1, you think? That was an option also. Bomb Slinger here? Oh. Okay, let's start with this, see what we get. Um, Swordfish is really nice. Do we go for Chrysalis? Just because we need to apply the pressure. So what am I doing here? I really want to play this. Oh, I can play Globe too with uh, Soul Pact. Which I think I'm going to do. So globe where? We could put globe like on the neutral, then we get to collect, um... Yeah, on the neutral makes kind of sense. We just dash up. Drop this, step on mountain. And then if he like inv wants to invest something in killing this, we at least clear a creature. this guy into face, so I think we're... Oh, we have Flash Wind. Do I even have, like, a lethal sort of thing set up? Not really. Um... Okay, we've got Flash Wind. There is a Wind Soldier. Wait, is there a lethal somewhere? There could be. Five. I don't know. Really want to use this flash wind. I feel like there there could potentially be a lethal somewhere, but you like push the nine line. Yeah, that's what I see right now. So hopefully that's okay.
Yeah, we can't lose now. He's on five. Was there lethal? Okay, I thought there could be a lethal in here somewhere. Uh, I'll have to play it back. We have one soul drain, so we can soul drain wind soldier. Uh, he was on four, right? With the husk? Um, we had training, so wind soldier soul drain training was like an answer to that damage, but... I mean, flash wind... Was there? Didn't see a lethal. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, Will, please don't play those cards. <laughs> Which cards? <laughs> Getting globe to fa- well, sure. Um, then I guess we found it. <laughs> really don't like getting clogged. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> we, uh, it took us a few games to make that work. <clears throat> OP cards, all Lizard will go and nerf them soon. It seems alright. Like, I mean, I'm trying to treat this as like a more competitive list. Fickle, good luck. Um, Wraith seems alright as a keep, with, along with a creature. Even though we're going second. <laughs> May the yak be with you. <laughs> we need like a national yak holiday. <laughs> Husk is still OP, change it to 1 HP please. Just make it, make it 0 HP. Um... I think I can do the same line, right? Yes, we have Spectre now, this land is important again. So yeah, we just pass. <laughs> the song title, it, it was called Are You Still There? <laughs> How fitting. Um, so we can do an explore one side, uh, desert other side for the merchant. Um, a merchant over here makes sense, I guess. Unless he uh... It's okay. If he finds, like, the Yak Shepherd, it hurts a little bit, but... Wait, I should have put Merchant on the other side. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe Voice? Or Oblivion Rider could be alright. Just to contest uh, this guy. But it messed us up a little bit. So Merchant should be on left because he can fly off here. We can put Storyteller on right side to fight. Burn into Hus- yeah. And I've got like some really sturdy bodies now, I think it's alright. It was a still a close game though, I think. You had a lot of Wraths coming. <clears throat> God rig players should start matched with 2 HP life count. To give all other players a fair chance. Well, I'm not god rank. Oh no. Ah! Blue Yak on curve is game over. Yeah. Oh, there was a lethal last turn. I, I would be really curious to play that back. Because I think there might have been.
Okay, so we can start with Teller. I, I don't think this is going to give me anything anyways, but... This, this guy's going to be a big problem. The sixth tree actually saves you so hard. <laughs> I'm glad I picked it. The more you face yaks, the more you turn into a bobbin and don't like it. Really? Yellow yak there would suck. Ooh. Uh... Okay, big question here. Is, do I use the Wind Soldier to clear this? Keep my guy... I don't think so. We save the Wind Soldier for this. And we just drop, like, Wraith. And then get Yellow Yacked. Which becomes 6-4. Not much playing around that, though. <clears throat> um, or Yak Attacked. Here we go here. Could just play Merchant again. Uh, oh, we want to play the Husk, right? So just drop this. It's the it's the sturdiest. Yeah, I mean playing anything else plays into Yak Attack, so. By the way, story. To ah no. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always forget these things. I'm gonna queue up a poem right now. Um, what should be the theme today? What what was the thing we played? Lionfish and the command. Oh, okay. Um, how about a sea-themed poem? Found another husk. Mm, should I try to merchant for something? I think we just play. Hmm. Really need to save Wind Soldier for the. Oh, he's gonna get a buff, right? Okay, I need to put pressure on the Sapphire Yak, I guess. Otherwise we lose. Um, can I try a Storyteller? We could do like Storyteller... Yeah, I don't really want to play anything on this side, right? Uh, okay, Storyteller, let's see what we get. Uh, probably just gonna be the Husk. Maybe Merchant too. Maybe this was a mistake. Yeah, I should have went for Merchant first. <laughs> it's okay, now we've got a sturdy left side collection. And a lot of pressure on that lake spot. <clears throat> we'll be fine. No merchant right side. Maybe merchant right side was okay too, because this only goes to three. That's true. <clears throat> merchant right is trading three fairy into tokens. Yeah. I think it's best that I just try to put as much pressure on this as possible. Wait, I gave him the Drake Rider, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's debatable. Like, we're gonna have to deal with this 6 3 eventually, but. And we're, this Wind Soldier is probably gonna go into the Sapphire Yak also. Is he gonna taunt this spot? Oh, 
Wait, what are you doing there? Going to ignore the uh, whole... Oh, what? Crystal flower. Okay, so here... Oh, oh I don't actually have enough area. Really wanted to... Oh wait, I have this. I think this always happens. We can Wind Soldier Copter, right? Yeah, I have enough for that. That's beautiful. And then maybe... I think we can just step this into double. Let's see, he goes here, collects. Uh, yeah, we, we, we step this up in case he finds some answer to this and then we always have an answer. I find choking quite nice because Merchant gives them a lot of three attack. Mmm, that's a good point actually. You can use choking to counter some cards that you want to give them. It's a good point. Choking's really cheap also, so it's nice hard removal. Maybe I go for choking, because I might have too much creature clunk. play a wraith here <laughs> but also if we give up collection um, so I could just go for merchant merchant makes more sense anyways if you want to counter merchant creatures just do punishment yeah, but like also Choking Sand uh, hits other targets, not just the merchant creatures. Like punishment isn't that great, right? Um, so what's he doing? Building up to Yak Attack? I like the punishment tech, but I don't know. I don't think that's going to be very effective against most things. up. Alright, I need to go to the bathroom, but I'm going to try one of these ad breaks. Take away some of those starter ads. Not that I know how to do this, though. Mm. Run one minute ad break. The Crystal Flower turn was a huge throw. Yeah, Crystal Flower hurts quite a bit. It's pretty hard to make Crystal Flower work, even in like the places it's supposed to run, right? Thanks for the game though, Fickle. I always I, I love that you're you're like the Yak player. Everyone in Feria or like, I don't know. Half the player base seems to have the one deck that they go back to. You're the Yak guy. Alright, I'm gonna run a one minute ad break, 
while I go to the bathroom, so be back in a sec. Thanks for tuning in. See you in a bit. that it's a great mistake to confuse it with nothingness. It is rather to be thought of as space, or like space, because space is not empty. It contains the whole universe. And so in the same way, the state of mind of the person who is truly enlightened is not empty. It contains everything. Not this, not this, not any conception. The highest state of consciousness in Samadhi is called Nirvikalpa Samadhi, which means literally non-conceptual.
All right, I am back. It says preparing one minute ad. I don't know what that means. It's got like a little stop signal that doesn't let me click on anything. So I hope that doesn't mean that another ad is running <laughs> in a minute, but we'll find out. Um, maybe I'll just wait another minute just in case. <laughs> It says preparing one minute ad. One minute or like 59 seconds remaining. We'll see. <laughs> hey, Deku's in chat. The poor subs don't get to watch the ads. <laughs> no ad right now? Okay. And Kuro Kuro just sent uh, a design for the next, like, emote. Looks great. I love it. <laughs> Appreciate that a lot, by the way. That's, that's super kind to do that. Um, okay, 15 seconds. I'm curious what happens. I, I, oh, wait, this is a good time to read a poem that I almost forgot again. Um... A sea poem. Alright, let's try this one. Feels like the most balanced discovery card at least. Merchant? Most balanced discover card to me is uh, probably Seek Shelter, something like that. It, oh, why do I keep doing that? Let's find a window capture. All right, <clears throat> this is called Sea Poem by Charles Tomlinson. A whiter bone, the sea voice, in a multiple monody, crowding towards that end. It as is it bit bit. It as is it what? <laughs> it as as it <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why did I pick this poem? It is as if Oh, that was a lot easier to read than I thought. <laughs> it is as if the transparencies of sound composing such whiteness disposed many layers with a soul movement of the various surface, the depths, bottle glass, bottle glass green, the bed swaying, like a fault in the atmosphere, each shift with its separate whisper, each whisper, a breath of that singleness that moves together if it, if it moves at all, and its movement is ceaseless. And to one end, the grinding, a whiter bone. Ta-da! I feel they're talking about my completely pale skin. <laughs> well, there we go. Alright, we'll play a little bit more of this. How long have I, have I been going? Yeah, maybe like one or two more, and then we'll switch over to Blood Song for our lore page. Perhaps? I don't know what I can do with Blood Song, though. Hey, Lamancher! How's it going? What is that? Oh, it's a little moon! Adorable. <laughs> Against Cherry. Oh, this guy likes to play big stuff. Ah, right, we could actually- I forgot, we have Gagana in here still. We could ditch Gagana for, like, a Choking Sand or something. Um... Have you answered the Abracamp survey? I did do it! I tried to give as many answers promoting Feria as possible. <laughs> but, I mean... It sounds like they're kind of... Like, they had some questions in there, like, do you want this within the Feria universe? Um, so they might be looking at doing uh, s um, another Feria-related game. Um, 
What do I want here? Like he's going both sides. I think we put merchant on this side. <clears throat> Guess it depends what we get here. How does this list win against 7-7 Divine Taunt? Yeah, I'm questioning that. <laughs> Maybe I just need like a single nightmare for backup against lists like this. Stinky! Long time no see! How's it been going? Yeah, the protection guy. Merchant into Looking Glass, exactly. Easy peasy. It looks like he's switched lists though, he's not playing his blue yellow, th uh, blue, uh, blue red thing. Faria 2? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> he never gets to play the taunt. He's been trying to do something different. Oh, okay, okay. One single nightmare will never be there when you need it anyways, fair enough. Oh, Andy's here too! I think I, I saw you in chat earlier, I forgot to say hi. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Um, so I was thinking of Choking Sand. Choking Sand would be awful so far. I guess I could have played around that. Uh... Can just use the second one on this side, I guess? We don't really have many answers to this, we'll have to deal with it. I guess. Follow up with Soul Drain into Swordfish. Looks like you need to be in a hurry. I can't tell if he's burned or not, because he's playing Bomb Slinger and Fire Ellie, so I don't even know if he's really burned. But. Also, we had the training. Maybe. I don't know. I think this will be okay. Four new lands would be awesome. With new land types? They've mildly screwed themselves. Yeah, there's some weird things that they did with the engine. Hmm. This creature base is a little awkward. Um, so we've got a nice swordfish here, I guess. I don't know if it's worth training this. I guess it is. He's used one wrath and we get to collect... can try Storyteller as well, right? Soul Drain? I guess I'm going for the soul drain here. Seems to make sense. Um, I mean, do I though? What else has he played? So what is this is going to be on three life? Um, it's honestly a pretty decent trait, but yeah, we get to. If he doesn't have an answer, then we get to keep a collector alive. Also plays with um, yellow with red. Hmm. Oh, the uh, forget his name. The one that grabs two life, <laughs> drains you two life. That's an interesting card. I don't think that TCG can sell. He 
Need to make it free. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're in a really awkward spot right now. Unfortunately. Oh, Flashwind is cool. Is this worth the Flashwind? I guess we you just go back over and collect. That seems pretty worth it. Um, unless the damage is really important. The damage could be important. Um, I don't particularly need Faria right now, so maybe we do actually just go for damage. Since that he's got burn things, I don't know. Expansion, which should be able to get the money, right? Hero base, Faria, game, game would be so cool. Hero base. Like what they did with Duelist, you mean? There's no money left to grab? I'd buy it. I think, like, all of you guys would buy it as well, an expansion. I, I don't know how just how much work that requires. Um, to make an entire expansion. Hmm. Could be worth going for the training line. Considering we have so much Faria here, and then he's forced to step this guy back. I think it's worth it. And then we probably just step back. So we force him to step back, collect. Um, or we just hit face here. I, I really don't need anything. We force him to build this land. Yeah, I think we just hit face. And then if he's doing this, he's stepping way far out of collection. I think that's all right. All 40 of us will buy it. <laughs> don't think that will that covers the cost. Yeah, but I don't know, there's been... It seems like the player base kind of bumps up every once Let's in a while. So we can find a lethal somewhere soon using double wind soldiers, but we need a land. Um, let's start with this. Ooh. Salamander's kind of neat here. Sturdy body that survives. We get to that um, double neutral. Or just crumbling golem. Honestly, crumbling golem. Yeah, we've got the soul drain in hand. if they want to keep uh, the artistic quality and <laughs> don't switch to selling MS paint card arts. <laughs> yeah, I guess they, they maybe they probably don't keep in contact with their artists anymore because it's been a while. They've probably their artists have probably moved on to bigger and better things. And that's true. Yeah, the card arts, yeah. Like, I'd like to say that um, dipping down in art quality I would be fine with, but <clears throat> it would be kind of sad and it would be kind of awkward seeing that we have all these cards in the game currently. You kind of have to match the art quality. I thought all their artists were in-house. Oh yeah, that's true. They had like the whole, the whole ro rogue book thing. Maybe. I forgot I was giving him copter and salamander from that. 
Maybe the salamander... Okay, he doesn't have an answer. But maybe the salamander was better just because he could have had an answer. Ah, that costs five. There's no way. Alright, gonna make one last change for maybe another game and then we can switch. But I think I can probably ditch Gagana. It's not that necessary. I mean, Spectre's probably better. I think. It's one cost cheaper. And got charge two. And then we add in, like... I think we can try choking... What else am I missing from this list? Like, the whole Colossus thing, but... <clears throat> this seems a bit more creature-based. We need, like, more removal. This list cannot really win. It has nothing that allows you to assert dominance on board. Really? Like, these guys are pretty... Mm... I guess so. It's more about, like, control... But you don't really have high attackers. Maybe this needs something like... You also can't get too expensive in cards. Um... I think like just adding like some hard removal, like maybe we, we drop one other thing. Like uh... Just go back to the double demons again. Um, I mean, double demons is okay. I kind of like having like hard removal things, maybe. Like, double choking sand? These, these have been literally... Uh, God, I can't speak today. <laughs> these have literally been useless. Um, the past couple games we've played. Maybe just a nightmare. <laughs> or like more mobility option. I... Okay, what if we do this and then go for double demon? And the demons are just used to clear things. They're not really used as tempo tools. They're just for clearing things. Add some farm boys. If you don't play them, who else will do? <laughs> It's always a place for Armageddon. I think I'll try with the double demons. They're just really, uh, like, stat efficient. So you can deal with things. Hey, Bag Arena, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the game also. I see you're trying some new archetype out. I think choking is not that needed if you have Wind Soldier and all. Maybe two of would in would be better. Yeah, potentially. I think I'm gonna try with the demon. See how that goes. Um, because demon's in here now, triple training would be awesome, but whatever. I won't play this too much longer. Miss some chat, just catching up. Yeah, I guess they must have some sort of in-house designers. Like, the art style always stays the same, even across Rogue Book. Um, but yeah, I imagine artwork costs a little bit of money. Because the artwork's so good. <laughs> it's just really sad the game's not more recognized. Show me your mono red lighter. Is it strong? My mono red? Which one's that? I don't think I have a mono red. Um, I was I was playing Lizard's Ignis list a little while ago. Carlos, wait, this is the green guy, right? He likes to play green. No. 
Um, is he green? Maybe he does red things. Moon's mono red, is that a thing? <laughs> Moon's mono red? I play like... Oh, he's Rush. Um, should I go for like a V just to get this charger going? Nah. <laughs> Thank God we have a demon. <laughs> Casual rush. Yeah, this might be a interesting deck. <laughs> but now we've got Spectre and Demon. I think we'll be fine. Unless he drops like a... Uh, that 7-8? <laughs> or 7-10? Actually, even if he drops the 7-10, we have answers. Right? <laughs> Haven't seen him in a minute? Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen him. I remember he did something. He was like, always playing the same deck of something. I thought it was green, I can't remember. Maybe it was red though. <laughs> Alright. So, I almost kind of just want to step on lines and stuff. I guess he's red, we don't really have to care, we just go here. And we got the flash wind in hand as well. Hold your horses, are we talking about the moon's mono red TM? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been surprised. Oh my goodness. <laughs> At least this boosts to five. This demon poking us for a little bit. Uh, do I even want to use the Wind Soldier here? I could just bring the demon into the fight. Save Wind Soldier. So he's playing burn cards and haste. I guess. So... Almost kind of important that we keep the demon healthy just to... Just seems like a waste of a flash wind here. I don't think we need to use it, but one thing you can do is just ignore this and then just like wait for flame burst, so maybe we do have to use it. Get to step on the land too. Um so like worst case we can soul drain it if he decides to ignore everything. Where is that choking sand now? <laughs> True. You'd honestly consider the soul drain to s soul drain on demon to save life you already had on board. Ah, uh, like using it now? Fair. Yeah. And we can answer anything he plays here. That might have been in consideration. We'll see. If he doesn't play anything here, we'll we'll use it. Nope, got him. Wait, now this just boosts to six. But I think I think we just use the soul drain here. Okay, merchant. Um, this is kind of neat. And then we double neutral up. Put on the pressure. Uh, 
set this here. Because I don't really need fairy anymore, I think. Uh, or do I? What does this play into? I think we go here. Like, we're, we're on a clock now. It might be top decking flame bursts and such. Neutral to B4. Oh, B4? True. Get the collection. Yeah, maybe that was better. Would have taken train before heading into the 3 3 to get another life. Mm, oh, back then, yeah. Um, okay, we can take a draw. Training! Can we set up lethal somewhere? Like, if we step up, we've got 9 damage. I uh, need another 6. What about this guy? Let's see what we get from this, I guess. Um, I mean, we might as well step up, I guess. We should be able to answer anything he plays here. Yeah, anything like Flashwind will help us. Yeah, okay, I guess, yeah. Um, Flashwind top deck just gives us lethal here. That's what this guy does. He pre-flame bur- oh wow. He pre-flame bursts. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> that was easy peasy. <laughs> Wasn't worried about it. Alright, let's do blood song things. It's almost been three hour stream. Uh, or we could just skip it. I don't really know. I don't have many ideas for blood song. Just red rush, really. Good night. All right, PC. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good sleep. And enjoyed the poem. So yeah, just red rush. That's all I can think. Maybe you do like red, yellow, husk because you draw a lot of cards. You kind of want like a thick hand to get a lot of value out of this. Red green blood song, weeping idol. There is a lot of burn on the ladder. Weeping idol might be able to work. Um, I don't think weeping idol and blood song alone is very strong, but there is a lot of burn on the ladder. That OTK with husk. Um, turbo goth <laughs> with the six four blight knight. Some blood song for budget. Lord of the Pit. Lord of the Pit? This guy? Uh, Lord of Terror? <laughs> skip it, save the mental capacity? I'm kind of debating skipping it. <laughs> we can just continue doing husk things or something. Blood song is just so bad. There was another thing I liked, like blood song and llama. No, I kind of tested that a little bit. It just doesn't work. Mm. Lord of Terror. We might skip it. <laughs> I'm not really feeling blood song, to be honest. 
Basically Lord of Terror, and you get sudden lethal. Yeah, it's like Lord of Terror OTK. Four damage. Bloodslung and Wave Crafter? And just Training Flash Wind. Yeah, I mean, you go for an extreme OTK thing. Um, let's just do another Husk. Maybe I'll think about it. Blood song and illusion. Just hope for those 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 pinks. <laughs> I feel like you use this in like a combo deck, maybe. I don't know. Is there like a a rush list with combo? What about that uh, that uh, doomsday? thing that Hunter was playing a while back that he got me to play with, like, um, Bloodfire Wisp. <laughs> Bloodfire Wisp kind of awful. But you could do, like, Doomsday Path to Paradise things. Doomsday Path to Paradise is interesting. Because... <laughs> Against path to par or path to face, like your opponent plays a lot of creatures to defend with, and then you just doomsday uh, with balloonfish things. Mm. <laughs> but uh, that list still wouldn't want to run blood song because you want to do like small haste things. You did Blood Song plus three cost Angry Illusions, but man, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the thing that keeps you up half at night. The recipe for sleep deprivation. Yeah, maybe we won't go down that road. Um, I, Husk feels like a toss in the early game, I guess. I can keep Flash Wind with Spectre. That seems all right. Oh, perfect starting hand. Spectre and Merchant, or like Spectre and Storyteller is such a good start going second, because you get 8 Feria. There's a lot of red today. The one issue with like Spectre things is that your husk placements kind of block the mobility, but... Um, I, I think we want Spectre to be same side, just so that I can use his lands. I was thinking of like going opposite and then like Merchant and then Flashwind or something, but I think we want to do this. Um, maybe we do Merchant first, just to see. Yikes! Well, Keeper! <laughs> but then you're assuming your opponent does. <laughs> Why people play red, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know, red? I very rarely play red, I guess. But there's some interesting things in red still. Why not Desert E2 for the Merchant? Ah, uh, yeah, wait. Yeah, explore first. Wait. Oh. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah, because we don't actually we don't actually need to step up. But yeah, that's true. We could be in collection already. I wish Starshell was good. <laughs> I love the art. It's a little turtle boy. <laughs> yeah. He has such good potential, but unfortunately treasures just aren't that good. 
It's a decent uh, Pandora card, at least. Um... I think we can drop a demon here. Explore on C2. Desert E2. Yeah, yeah, I like that line. B2 seems better for pressuring. Well, like, I want to build this land eventually, but I think on that turn, like, like uh, it was a while back where, like, I was opening with Spectre Merchant. Seemed okay. I guess then he just keeps the airbot there and we don't have a, a clear on it. We've got like seven fairy potentially. Let's take a draw. Um, I think we're just gonna use Wind Soldier and then drop Merchant. Probably here, just because we want to move this guy up. Maybe. Unless he drops Ground Shaker again, or something. <laughs> you don't contest Airbot though, and keeping Bot up for detonate lines is, is, is iffy. Yeah, I see the other side to it, like he just gets to keep the, the Airbot there. You give him three collections overall too, like, if you don't clear that turn, because like you step here, he still just like double collects. This list feels pretty decent so far. I mean, it's really tough on ladder because there's a lot of just jank going around, so it's hard to really judge. But I think that this list is alright now. It's, um... It's literally the same husk list, but without Colossus. Why isn't Colossus being run anymore? Is it just because of, like, swarm meta? <laughs> But, like, the swarm meta was always here. You don't want to draw more with Colossus. Fourth line is weird. Uh, I guess so, yeah. And, and, like, double neutrals to get this to dash and stuff. Yeah, fair enough. It needs less lands. I see it. That wasn't a real game, Moon. <laughs> no, I mean... Ladder has been kind to me today. <laughs> Colossus relies on events. Yeah, I... I um, but like, this sort of list would run Colossus before in the past, but... I, I see with the whole, like, land increase. You can't draw into your events, you can't, uh... Double neutral the lands. And Colossus is a tempo card. He played Airbot and then Shakered into nowhere. <laughs> yeah. 
No, that's what I mean. It's just... Yeah. But I've seen a lot of, like, newish players on ladder recently, so... I don't know, there's a lot of new people uh, getting into the game, it seems like. Sometimes find you can get bad draws with too many events. Yeah, that's the that's the downside to like event heavy decks, but then like y you can use the card draw option a lot more often because you're only on like three land count or something. Keep double teller. We go first, so it's not really that valuable. I think we just can toss. Is Trey playing 24 7? <laughs> it seems like it sometimes. I've seen him. He's always on. What list are you trying to target with Husk? I'm just trying to make a generic good list. Not necessarily target anything. Like. Um, like, uh, so we're, we're kind of going away from tempo and going into more control, I suppose. Oops, I didn't need to end there. <laughs> I just realized. Not punished. Must be good then. <laughs> A lot of yellow variants are mo more than passable. Just have to know it. Know when to use what. Yeah. I mean, I... I think this list is just... Um, more of an all-rounder. Control certain things. We're doing well against red, apparently. But they're kind of weird red lists. Is this worth the flash wind? Yeah, we get to collect. Grinder. Oh, stepping in for me. Thanks. Backwards. So we just win, soldier this. Uh, we can even storyteller give him more stuff before we do this. It does mean we have to play the storyteller out of range, but I think that's okay. Oh, and we top deck training? <laughs> uh, is this worth the double husk? Not particularly. Kind of messes up my lands a little bit, but... Uh, this plays around Copter also. Dustbringer and Spectre are good stat lines into red, and if they are burn, your favorite anyway with Huskiel. Yeah. Seems pretty solid against red. Uh, 
Um, what are other archetypes? Like green, it kind of bullies because you can like walk around them, get good value husk. But I mean, everything bullies green, so I guess that's not a consideration. You've got um, I don't know. Everyone's playing red today. Not much else. There's yellow flyers. The stat lines are okay into yellow flyers. Like the Dustbringer race is pretty decent against flyers. 3 6 for 4 cost. Um, your only issue is champion, which hurts a lot. Training on the teller here to collect? Oh, I think so? Yeah. We're not going to use training anywhere else. Um, we could just training this. Drop another Dustbringer. Do like a Wind Soldier thing. This poor fellow is just kind of stuck here. Um, don't have to answer this immediately, just like double neutral or something. Go in between wells. Maybe? Or we want to develop race. Hmm. We do Wind Soldier, Storyteller, Husk, maybe then. Okay, so we do. No. <laughs> Desert. Oh, I can't do that. What am I saying? Okay, whatever. We don't need three husks anyways. <laughs> and choking sand. Yeah, maybe we should think about the matchup so we can see, is choking sand worth it? Only thing that seems miserable to play against is green. Oh, green blue. Yeah. 3 6 is premium into all the 5 3s, but you can't really contest their collection. Yeah. What? Wait, did I give him this? I don't remember giving him that. Um. No more trainings, right? We just flash win this, play Deathbringer, I guess. Don't know if Flyers is winnable with this list. You'll they'll make you build a road to them. Yeah. The stat lines are decent, but perhaps that's true. Surprisingly no answers, so we'll just step here, drop something I guess. with husk. I don't even know if I want to block with husk. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And there's also Sky Captain flyers and suddenly 6 HP is a curse. That's true. Sky Captain seems to be a bit more popular these days.
Unless you merchant into Firestorm. I think we can just go face here. Night Fickle, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good sleep. A five cost flamethrower, oh boy. <laughs> Going back to blue red. <laughs> I'm trying to play, like, meta things, so, can't happen. Um, you have one deck? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just get really good at one deck, right? Have to branch out a little bit for the others. Man, I don't want to play for too much longer, but I also don't want to start something, like, new, particularly. <laughs> um... Think you're good with Krog deck? You know the cards well? <laughs> Like, Krog Rush is decent in the meta right now. Okay, I I'm thinking of something. Let me just... Let me just throw this together and see how it looks. <laughs> it's gonna be awful. Wouldn't recommend playing Krog Rush on ladder. It's pretty hard on the ladder, that's fair enough. It's happening. <laughs> I think we can make something happen here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Blood Song's so... Oh, it's just not gonna fit into all these cheap cards. Okay, so I want to use the flyers, like, uh, Demonic Salmon, and then we just do red things, I guess? Wait, I'm missing something. Um, I need something bigger. Right, where's Radiance? Talking about moons, monocrog TM. <laughs> Why no crog rush? Well, crog rush is just uh, 
it is good in tournaments because it's got like super hard counters. I mean, you could play it on ladder if there's if people are playing like swarm and stuff. But um, oh, we do Kagana. Um, yeah. Master that blue red hellfire deck. Oh, that one that you were playing. Nice. <laughs> it's on the final version. Nice, nice, nice. I know you've been playing a lot. You must get um, a lot of practice in with those. So this, like, Hunter was uh, gave me this list a while back with like where I was using like Azurai and Doomsday and stuff. Oh wait, we can't run Radiance and Bloodsong in the same deck. That doesn't even work. Well. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Krog Doomsday Value Deck. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, it was a it was a fun little deck, but I, I, Blood Song just doesn't work here at all. Yeah. <laughs> When people start playing Azurai, when you were playing before, it was considered completely unplayable. I think it's because of the husk, I mean the swarm meta. Um, Azurai is pretty decent, especially in flyers where like you're kind of weak to uh, swarm. And with all your mobility tricks, you can get in like a big hit. All right, I don't know. I'm just gonna do like, cause I don't know what else to do. I'm just gonna play Blood Song on casual or something. What's something like? I can throw together quickly. Uh, oh, we were gonna do Red Rush, right? Why don't I just throw that together quickly? It won't be perfect, but we'll get the lore page. And it'll be a nice little end to the stream. So just all the combats. Uh, we can run the big combat guy then. Um, maybe just like two of these. Queen's Guard. More expensive things. Um, gift of Steel? Maybe three Gift of Steel? <laughs> Just because we have so much combat now and the fairy to spend it? Perhaps? Could even do like... So what are we facing so far? Red? No, I don't want to go up to three lands. We're missing Axe Grinder, though. Three Warlords? <laughs> Crackthorn BS. <laughs> Swarm got more popular because of the Gary nerf. Yeah, yeah, that... Tr yeah. Gary nerf just shook the balance of all things. Um, final card. What's like a good one of? Command? Um... Are there any other combat creatures that are decent? Like a one of Grimguard? <laughs> Krog. <laughs> we just put in Krog. What about Bursting Hippo and Rush? No. Pretend I didn't say that. Kingsguard actually could be okay with Blood Song. Uh, also, Mace Man things. Magnus? <laughs> Wait, what do you need for Magnus to get value? You need, um. Like, what's 4 8 value? Like a 6 cost, maybe? So you need to reduce something to 4? Pretty likely. Maybe, maybe to actually make it worth it, like, five? Yeah, okay. One of Kingsguard. Oh, you guys can't see. Cap 10? Like, Cap 10 is four land, though. It's a bit difficult. I think I'm gonna stick to two lands if I can. You joined tournament? Nice! I... Joined it, but I, uh, that's before the uh, time change. 
Um, Atmos made a mistake, and uh, now it's at 2 a.m. for me, so I don't think I'll be attending. Yeah, let's do something like this. I don't know. The one of Kingsguard's, Kingsguard feels weird, but... Uh... Time change? Yeah, well, uh, Atmos put the thing incorrectly at first. Um, so is that like 5 p.m. for me? But then he's like, oh, oops, wrong time. <laughs> 5-3 is one of the best stat lines in the game, having access to AoE. Hmm. 5-3 Flyer. Uh, for a second I thought you were talking about the Kobold guy. 5-3 <laughs> Flyer, yes. Or like, w with better stat, uh, fairy it costs too. It's the same time that the other here. Oh yeah, is corrected now, so the correct time's up there. Mm. Okay, so this guy's start is pretty good. What are we gonna do? We're going triple neutral. Mountain Drub Kobold. Probably Axe Grinder won't get played for a little bit. I think we can toss this. Hope for something else. Uh, he's playing casual. It's probably something super greedy also. I think we're going to stomp. Oh no, it's a forest. So, oh my. Well, I guess we dropped the Warlord. <laughs> Avenger. Lake? With Avenger? Excuse me? And a 7-3? Excuse me? Wait, what? <laughs> Warlord is so fun to use. <laughs> it's a really decent start because it's only one man. Poor Fappy. <laughs> I'm curious what that was, the Wild Avenger with green blue. I don't think there's any self damage in green blue, right? Don't think so. <clears throat> Rage, yeah, I mean, I think he just loses at that point. <laughs> Perfect time for number one emote. <laughs> oh, I don't think we're gonna get to number one. Uh, we're not gonna get to God rank today. Yeah, it's a little bit far. Great blood song gameplay. <laughs> it was beautiful. Also, I just realized I'm running all of the um, Faria giving combat creatures, and then Bloodsong to give me more Feria. This might be a bit much Feria. <laughs> Maybe I need triple Kingsguard. Maybe it's just attack? Well, to be fair, there's a lot of red on ladder. Maybe it is just attack. <clears throat> yeah, maybe this needs triple Kingsguard because we have so much Feria going. So we ditch, mm, maybe like 
one gift of steel. Okay, so he's playing big boys. I think we can... Wait. Is this okay? If he does the octopus play again? Uh... I think we just ditch this. Double queen scared. Yeah, I think we want triple king scared with blood song. That could actually work out all right. Oh look, a cypher's wrath target. Still playing rush is fine. Yeah, I don't expect to lose this. Oh look, a cypher's wrath. Start with neutral train. Well, yeah, this is a rush deck. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a rush deck, so uh, always starting with that, yeah. Um, do I just drop second Queen's Guard? Uh, Cypher's Wrath feels mildly not great. Well, then we get to Blood Saw. Oh, yeah, what if we do this? Bop! Wrath. This. Sweet! <laughs> Pretty perfect pings. I think we're not even that afraid of this because he, he's got like some smaller cards anyways, right? Uh... So there's an option to, to cut his lands off with double neutral maybe? Probably not that worth it though. Um... We just kind of have to keep applying pressure. Yeah, he gets zero cost things to play, right? We don't want to waste with double neutrals. Uh, so we can draw. <clears throat> I wish I drew earlier. <laughs> Alright, we'll just play this. Wow! <laughs> oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Bonga Bonga. <laughs> <laughs> Double neutral seems fine. Oh, there. Um, so we probably want to clear this Magnus off. Uh, but I don't particularly want to run into the stalker so we might have to build another land um, so I can do a double neutral thing where like I take both of these lands and then we got like X grinder spaces I suppose can drop Harold here Oh, I guess I should have dropped Harold first. We kind of want the attack buff on Harold, I think. 
Well, maybe it doesn't matter. This guy's in, like, buff range? Yeah, maybe actually we do want the buff here. What is this deck? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna be running creation. I, I guess. I'm not really sure. Aurora? Okay, maybe I did want the attack buff here. <laughs> What? Well, we lost to Celeste, apparently. That was unexpected. Okay. <laughs> Do I just surrender now? <laughs> and we draw? Let him move out of range. Hit face. I wasn't expecting Celeste. <laughs> Nobody ever expects Celeste. Also, oh come on, are you kidding? He got the Magnus ping on Celeste. Alright, well we're not beating Cypher or Celeste. That was just kind of odd. <laughs> you need to play the blood songs. Wait, I'm gonna swap in uh, th triple guard. Not too much. <laughs> Losing the the weird one. Uh, maybe there's not even room for them to be honest. Like, what do I want to delete? Gift of Steel is actually. Not awful. Uh, we need brigands. Axe grinders? Not that necessary, I guess. They're still kind of good, though. Yeah, okay, we'll just... whatever. We're only doing this for the blood songs anyways, I guess. <laughs> It seemed okay. Oh, the the blood songs. To play around Celeste, we could have just hit face there and then um, top decked flame bursts, and we would have been all right. But, uh... Haste from green-blue. Not very expected. <laughs> Three Gift of Steel is potentially too much as well, I don't know. But we have a lot of sturdy bodies, so assumedly something can stick to the board. So it's probably alright. Uh, the double neutral start is really good with the Queen's Guard, and then now Qu uh, King's Guard as well. And especially if we have like such a low land count. Like, I wonder if Axe Grinder's worth it. <laughs> Or if we just go for like an insane start with King's Guard or Queen's Guard, we have two options. Or Kobold Warlord. Those are all like really uh, insane starts. And then you're only building two mountains, so you don't even like want to go for the Axe Grinder. Ha! <laughs> 
That feels a bit greedy though. <laughs> So you, yeah, you always get to drop that stuff on turn two, right? Double neutral, double neutral. Unless it's Warlord, you need the Explorer then. Double, uh, your triple neutral and Mountain, Warlord. So like half of the time you're only doing King's Guard, Queen's Guard turn two. Um, which they can't really drop that threatening of things. And it's a pretty decent mulligan to hope for. Triple guard, triple, uh, triple kings, triple queens. Blood song. Um. Seems like a keep, right, with Flame Burst. Shaker can be a consideration if you want to go slower and have more burn options. Ah, oh, that's true. Shaker's nice and juicy. Leads into Axe Grinder a little better too, I suppose. Um, We face this guy, right? I think we just- we still go for double neutral. Especially against red. But yeah, Shaker's an option. Oh, he was running Airbot, right. Oh no, he had the Explorer! I forgot. Maybe I should have just dropped the, uh, the Warlord after all. What if I double neutral again? <laughs> and lock him in? That doesn't seem that awful, to be honest. We get an Axe Grinder potential spot. So... <laughs> Feels a little strange. We're also like two turns off of like flame burst things now. Well played. I don't know if that was like super well played. <laughs> I mean, it at least get to drop like Kobold Warlord, so we have like something on curve. Uh, it does feel a little odd though. So I'll just hit this and then drop a Warlord in face. I don't know, Ground Shaker takes away from the whole like... So yeah, you either go for like Kingsguard things or Ground Shaker. Perhaps on the current ladder, King's Guard's better just because they're all red players. The early chunk of light love of life stat is pretty great. Ah, well, I think I'm okay with that. Oh. Well, all right. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, uh, yikes.
helicopter is another option. <laughs> Um, then it's a really slow type of deck. I think I'm okay with that. I mean, a single detonate was okay. <laughs> Two is a bit much. Double Blood Song. Should we go for it? I think I just plus one play boss. We get a little bit of extra fairy this way. Put it out of range for now. Out, out of range of this. At least that's plus one on the Blood Song lore page. Hey, we got both of them here. Look at this. Just play both Blood Songs Conceit. <laughs> Having fun with Krog? Nice. Krog's always a fun boy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it might just be double blood song into concede. <laughs> Watch him do like cannon carrier into the third detonate or something. Give me something. Yay! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay. Well. We did it! <laughs> Already almost dead, but it was a great success, I would call this. So I only got two cards. If he drops an aggressive creature, I'm kind of dead, but, uh... Yeah. Okay, that's a big aggressive creature. <laughs> Alright. We did it, though! I knew you thought I was going to avoid the cards. Alright, let's do a quick... Read, and I think that'll be it for the stream today. So if anyone wants to stream and chat, let me know. Blood song. To devils, blood is the only currency that matters. If you want to help from another devil in battle or a share of a fresh carcass, you better be prepared to bleed for it. Oh, what? It's this guy! He's from, uh, Rogue Book. I thought that was like a brand new original creature that they made or something. I had no idea it was actually on the Blood Song card. That's cool. There he is! <laughs> Amazing. I don't know if any of you play Rogue Book, but, uh, there's like a creature that, like, drums uh, he plays on the drums and such, and this is him! <laughs> I had no idea this was actually a fairy creature, but there you go. Alright, let's check if anyone's streaming. I think I lost to it a couple times. Uh, Bagarina's streaming again. 
Let's go raid him. Yeah, it was really cool when I saw it, because I'm like, oh, what is this? This is a new Faria creature. Never seen this before. But there we go. It was all worth it in the end, just to figure that out. For the Blood Song lore page. Rogue Book TM. <laughs> Soon to be new game. I remember we were speculating it. it. <laughs> Bye! Thanks for joining. Bagarina, what? Wait, are you not streaming? Oh, I'm gonna come raid to you. It looks like you're streaming. Unless I haven't refreshed in a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're coming to raid you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we're gonna go check out Beggarina. Um, and yeah, next time, see ya!